So now I would like to show you some videos so that you may realize uh, how a geotechnical engineer speculates that what type of infrastructure can be created by utilizing sheet piles. Once that is clear, then we will go into the analysis part of it. I wish to show you some uh, of the YouTube videos which would clear your idea and concepts about uh, how infrastructure is being done uh, with the help of uh, sheet piles. I will email these links to you as well and uh, this is where he has tried to show the type of sheet pile construction which are uh, being done. I think you can look at this. Uh, this is the basic unit of a sheet pile uh, for a better connection, better connectivity. You can have a concrete sheet pile or reinforced concrete sheet pile also, advantages, disadvantages are given. This is how the, you know, uh, their attachments are done or interlocking is done. So, this is the interlocking system. Uh, these two units are the mirror units. Each unit is embedded into the ground and then they are interlocked. Uh, this is how the sheet pile wall is being created. This is the first installation followed by the next hammering of the sheet piles and uh, they get embedded into the soil mass. So, this is the ground level, you take the sheet pile, the sheet pile would be something like this. So, it will be something like this, you can hold it from top and push it down or tamp it from the top. I think uh, this video will give you a very clear idea about how sheet piles are installed. So, this is how the sheet piles are lifted. And then look at the way the installation takes place. So, this area what you are observing here is going to be excavated. You want to create an underground facility. So, this is how the cordoning off of the entire area can be done. So, this is how the connections are being done, interlocking and once the unit gets fixed with the previous unit, you can tamp it from the top. So, this is uh, basically mechanization of construction in geotechnical engineering. Nowadays, we have the best possible machines and tools uh, which can be utilized to construct the facilities uh, within no time with lot of precision. Otherwise, I am sure you will realize it is very difficult to tamp the sheet pile into the ground and that was one of the deterrents earlier days. Uh, you see now how this has been pushed into the soil mass. So, soil mass should be soft. So, depending upon the resistance which is being offered by the soil, you can adopt a technique of installation. So, this is what I was explaining over here that if you want to create underground space, you can just tamp the sheets of uh, piles into the ground and then you can create uh, the desired space.
fine. There is another good video of uh, the installation of the PVC sheet piles. PVC sheet piles are mostly used for uh, retaining the leachates which are coming out of the landfills. The concept here is that the edge of the sheet which is being pressed into the soil happens to be very sharp, all right. So, in this system where I showed a very sharp edge, what will be the free body diagram of the sheet pile? So, suppose if I take a sheet pile over here, a good question would be draw the free body diagram. The thickness is absolutely less, all right, few centimeters or mm. So, once you are tamping it inside, the first thing is friction will get mobilized, all right. So, the moment friction gets mobilized, it becomes a non Rankin wall. This is a deviation from the Rankin theory because later on you will see that most of the analysis which we will be doing for analyzing the sheet piles would be based on Rankin theory only. But then we tend to ignore this shear stress. Why? Because it is a very thin element which is being inserted into the ground and this is the cutting edge. So, there cannot be much resistance offered by the soil here. So, this is a cutting edge, all right. So, this system which is a flexible system goes into the ground or remains outside and gives you the advantage. The paradox is though the element is flexible, we assume the system which gets created because of the sheet piles is a rigid system, rigid body. So, we apply the concept of rigid body to analyze it, approximations, fine. Another thing which you must have realized is that when you are designing these sheet piles, the whole idea is to convert the pressures into what form? Deflection but excessive deflection is going to cause the failure. So, deflection should be within control. So, having done these concepts, now I will introduce the concept of how to create different types of sheet pile structures by using sheet pile units that will follow after few uh, videos. So, uh, again to continue with this video, now you can realize that the way sheet piles have been inserted and you have created a coffer dam. So, this is the industry which might be polluting, which might be spilling out lot of chemicals into the ground and I want to uh, control that, okay. So, this is the industry which is, uh, which might be producing different types of chemicals which are leaking, all right. And then there is a water table, there is an aquifer and we do not want any leakage or any chemicals to migrate into the fresh water and contaminate the whole thing. So, this is where the sheet pile has been installed. So, this confines the whole area and makes it leak proof. Let us move on to some other examples of sheet pile. I think this is a concrete pile which is being driven into the sea wall and I hope this shows how the sea wall is being created. So, the whole sheet pile has been uh, held as a between the calipers and these calipers are pushing the pile deep inside the ground. And you can see there is a top head of the pile which is being either tamped by percussion, the pile will break, so it has to be pressed, all right. And then you can see the movement of the pile inside the ground. 
So, this is what you are talking about the concrete sheet piles. The basic idea is to create a space uh, which I can utilize by excavation or by loading it on the top. These are expensive infrastructures where you have to spend a lot of money to create the workable land. the same driving in and you can see how the joints are created over here. If you concentrate on this part of the video, you can see how the joints are being created and then ultimately all small small segments put together uh, they form a monolith structure. Uh, this is another good way of looking at this how interlocking of two elements of sheet piles has been done. So, next time when you are passing by and you see any excavation going on, uh, please have a close look at how the excavations are being done. And there have been many disasters also in the recent past when the design was not done properly. So, once you have created inside space, you can excavate it. The sheet pile is in between the tongs and the tongs are pressing them down. Hope this gives you a fair idea about how sheet piling is done. Uh, this is same thing uh, again to show you how the installation is done very clear manner. So, what as a geotechnical engineer we would like to do is we like to analyze these systems by using the concepts whatever we have studied so far. Mostly the earth pressure theory and the material properties in terms of shear strength characteristics. This is a good example of water front structures and how they are being made by using sheet piles. This is a very specialized uh, construction. First the form work has been done and then followed by insertion of the sheet pile for maintaining the alignment. Okay, I think this is good enough to give you an idea about how the sheet piles are done. And uh, this shows that how anchoring can be done. So, I will be talking about the anchoring phenomena also, 
how anchors are being used uh, for creating the sheet piles and for their better stability. This could be simple anchors, this could be pre-drilled anchors or even self-drilling anchors many times depending upon your budget. So, basically the whole wall is being pushed back side, okay. So, if I want to attain uh, much higher heights, what I should be doing? I have to pull them back. So, this becomes an anchorage system. I will be discussing about this. See, most of the time these near surface disposal facilities for nuclear active waste are also 10 to more than 10 meter deep, all right. Second thing is rather than creating such type of space, it is always better to create a small shaft and then install your canisters over there. But yes, technically this can be used. But imagine the volume of soil mass or the rocks which you are going to remove. So, if you have to create a rock system, there is no point in doing the sheet piles because rocks are self stable. This is meant only for retaining the soils or compacted soils. Second thing is you have to take a decision based on the cost and the advantage which you are going to get, fine. Yes, but one of the good examples would be if I want to create a shallow disposal facility which in within which which is within 10 to 7 meters of depth, this could be a good answer or solution. So, you have to design a barrier system, truly speaking the sheet pile acts as a barrier over there. Yes, impermanent that is. Applications are so many, it depends upon how you are using these concepts. 